All right, we're on a uh, 27 foot contender powered by twin Yamaha 254 strokes. Uh, it's a center console fishing boat, very nice boat, well equipped. Uh, we're starting up here, I guess we can start back here. Uh, we've got a, uh, a bait well, live well back here. Um, keep your, your bait alive. Nice cutting board on top there. We've got uh, Sea Star hydraulic steering. Uh, in the back there, you got a nice transom uh, gate here. You can pull those big fish through. We've got combing pads all the way around the vessel. And it's all of the uh, white and purple theme that you see here. And there is some yellow in there as well. Uh, and the floor back here, we have uh, two fish boxes and uh, bilge access. There's your bilge access. It's pretty clean. There's a little water in there, rain water in there right now. Uh, you've got two fish boxes. Uh, there's a bag in that one. Uh, one on each side. And there's our, uh, got fresh water wash down. It's, it also does hold water. Uh, on the on the helm, we've got a nice uh, leaning post seat here with uh, storage underneath. You got rod holders in the back, or you can put your that pad in there that's there. And then we've got our console. Let's see. Underneath, uh, we get anchor light, panels, uh, bait well bilge, fresh water spreader light, cockpit light, wash down, and bait pump. Uh, we've got a nice Yamaha 704 remote. We've got Bennett trim tabs there. It's the switch. And here's the gauge for the level of the trim tabs. Got a nice aluminum uh, steering wheel. And then on our instruments, we've got uh, on each side fuel, water temperature, tack and speed. And then we've got a fuel management gauge. And then we've got another tack for the other side and water temp for the other side and fuel again. All right. Uh, in front of me is the GPS map 4212 Garmin unit and then we've got the Fusion MS IP500 which you can dock your phone or iPad, I, iPhone or whatever on that and it's, I'm sure he has the attachments for other phone types. Uh, we've got the ICOM uh, handheld commander unit right there and then there's a uh, point pad for the spotlight which is up above. We'll take a look at that also. Uh, we've got a Ritchie compass up here, a little windshield, and up above in the electronics box we have a uh, ICOM MC504 and an ICOM ICM304. Uh, and the M504 is what's connected to uh, to the hand unit there. All right, and then below me there's a really nice, very comfortable uh, cushion pad to stand on. Uh, it's really, really nice, about an inch thick. All right, and we've got uh, rod holders on both sides. And as we look forward, uh, again, more combing pads. We've got uh, net and gaff storage on each side. And then in the, the floor here, of course, we've got the huge... Uh, use all the hand. I don't think I shake as much with my left hand. I just had this thing open. Uh, it's a big fish box in the floor. It's uh, two foot by five foot, so it's huge. And then we've got uh, dry storage in here. We've got some life vests and whatnot. And then uh, on each side of that, we have uh, another storage compartment, which he has uh, gear in as well. I'm trying to see if this is has a drain. There's a cutting board that goes into a rod holder. So I don't know if this, uh, this probably isn't insulated, but it might be. I'll check with him. The uh, center console is the China, excuse me, China Bowl type, which I'll lift briefly. Whoop, I gotta undo the, uh, the strap over here. There's your plug for the uh, battery charger. All right, now I'm gonna lift this China Bowl. And you can see the center console in there. We've got five batter four batteries. You got a battery charger, you got your stereo amp, you got a subwoofer for the stereo, lots of flares and a toolbox, all kinds of stuff. So I think there's probably space for a porta potty down there if you needed it, but 
All right. Let me let that down. Whew. All right, now up front, we've got a anchor locker here, which is kind of shallow, which allows for a storage locker underneath, uh, which is kind of nice. Looks like somebody added that. But they got fenders in there. See the speakers all the way around. So you've got four big six by nine speakers and uh, and the base tube. All right, so we're gonna step up top. So you can see on top here, we've got a EPIRB uh, up top. We've got our outrigger uh, holders there. Um, got our spotlight right there, twin Garmin antennas, Garmin HD radar, trumpet horns, dual VHF antennas, and uh, all right wrapped with a nice canvas. So, all right, great looking boat. Just needs a little polish and we're good to go. We'll take a look at the outside next. All right, also for a little bit outside, there's some uh, downrigger uh, posts here. So I'll check with him to see if those are coming with it. But uh, here's your power plant. Like I said, Yamaha four stroke 250s. Uh, three blade props. Props look to be in great shape. Skags need a little work on both sides. That one's kind of chipped up. And there's your trim tabs down there. Transducer. And a nice all aluminum trailer. Let's see. 06 engines. So, very nice. We've got a triple axle trailer here. got this purple and yellow paint scheme uh, the purple are all stickers so keep that in mind if you weren't happy with that you can certainly peel those off but really nice boat got a storage box built into the trailer up there but uh, great looking boat great engines good electronics uh, all officer welcome 